Well, this is where Steve Sisolak took that oath you just saw outside the Nevada State Capitol building. Crews all morning for hours set up these risers chairs along the front lawn. And this afternoon, they're spending the hours tearing it all down. After the inauguration, I got a chance to speak exclusively to our new governor. How does the governor title feel so far? It feels great. It's only been a couple hours, but I'm excited to get in and see the people. Uh, so many people work so hard to get us here. It's a great day. I'm really excited. Steve Sisolak is now Nevada's 30th governor, the first Democrat in two decades. He praised the bipartisanship of his predecessor. As governor, I pledge you to follow the example you've set, to find common ground, reach consensus, make a difference in people's lives, and keep the state moving forward. He said the biggest issues facing our state aren't political, they're personal. First things first, we've got to get our education system back on track because we know that's the bedrock of a thriving economy. Words Clark County School District Superintendent Dr. Jesus Hara wanted to hear. Uh, you know, the funding formula needs to really be modernized, and that would be my biggest ask uh, through this legislative session. And funneling the marijuana tax revenue money to schools, right? Well, that, and that's the piece, right, is we need to address that funding formula. So then, you know, make, we, we make sure that we get the adequate funding that is supposed to go into education that goes into the classrooms. Sislak touted Nevada first, first women majority state legislature. Today, Aaron Ford became the first African-American constitutional officer in Nevada's history. Minutes after his inauguration, before his reception, Sisolak signed his first executive order. He appointed Attorney General Aaron Ford head of a task force on sexual harassment. We're going to be the gold standard uh, for the nation in trying to address this, this, this issue, and uh, I'm proud to be the chair of this particular commission. Well. It was truly a family affair with the Sisolak family here at the inauguration after the event. I also spoke with Nevada's new first lady as well as Sisolak's 92 year old mother who lives in Las Vegas but was able to make it here for the inauguration. You'll hear from them coming up in our next report. Live in Carson City, Christine Medella, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Any big plans for tonight? Any big celebrations? Well, there will be two balls, two governor's balls, one in northern Nevada and one there in southern Nevada at the Aria. But those are coming up not tonight. I think they're going to celebrate privately amongst themselves, but they do have two balls planned for each portion of the state. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Christine. See you in a bit.